Hello class, good afternoon. Today we're going to start with the week number 6. And today's topic is going to be pretty much the same one as we saw the last class. The last class we saw the topic of simple present. We already know this topic. Remember that this topic pretty much tell us activities or events. Activities or events that happen every single day or every single year or every single month or every hour or every day you know so this one pretty much expresses normally like sorry normally like daily activities daily activities okay now we already know how to say some sentences with some verbs that we saw the last couple of days or well pretty much the last day we saw the verb of sleep, vimos el verbo de sleep, we saw the verb of eat, we saw the verb of buy, the one of sell, and the other one was the one of run, sorry, and the other one was the verb of run. Today we are going to learn um, six verbs in total, I guess, to add more verbs to our vocabulary, and they're actually really simple, vamos a agregar seis verbos más al vocabulario, I guess... No, I guess 8 will be fine. Creo que con 8 estaré mejor. Ok, anyways. So in this case, we already know how to use them. Ya sabemos cómo utilizarlo in the affirmative form. En la forma afirmativa. Remember, in the affirmative form, in simple words, en palabras simples, when we have the subject he, she, and it, cuando teníamos el sujeto he, she, and it, lo único que se le hacía era simplemente ar an S, ponerle una S o una S al verbo. O sea, si por ejemplo, we say, we, we say sleeps. We say eats buys and blah 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 right we already know that so you know lo sabemos now today's topic is going to be pretty much the same one va a ser prácticamente el mismo but in this case it's going to be in the negative form en la forma negativa and it's very simple y de hecho es muy muy fácil ok so help me to open your notebook and write the following information so in this case we have the topic of simple present as you guys know simple present Pretty much, we use it to describe activities or daily activities or daily events that happen every day, every hour, every month. In this case, we are going to learn how to use it in negative form. Lo vamos a utilizar de forma negativa y es algo muy sencillo. As you guys remember, we always need to divide the subjects into different groups. Tenemos que seguir dividiendo los sujetos en dos grupos. Remember, group number one, por otra vez y por última vez, is this composed by the subject I, you, they, and we. And the group number two is composed by the subject he, she, and it. As you guys remember, in the topic of has and have, we saw two words. En el tema de have y has vimos dos palabras que eran como llamadas auxiliares, que era prácticamente como decir no. Over here, we're going to be using the same ones. Vamos a ir utilizando las mismas. So, in this case, with the subject I, you, they, and we, we use the auxiliary don't. Remember, if we want to say no, we use the auxiliary don't. After we use the auxiliary don't, we have to use the verb in base form. So that means without the S. Yeah? Let me just tell you an example. In this case, we have, for example, the, the subject they. Our primary form will be, I don't know, they sleep 8 hours every day. Okay. Now, in negative form, which is the topic of today, instead of saying they sleep 8 hours every day, we will say they, and then this one, do not or don't. So in this case, we say they don't sleep, without the S, sin S, they don't sleep 8 hours every day. And over here, what does it mean? ¿Qué significa? Significa que ellos no duermen. Ocho horas. So one more time, in simple words, the auxiliary don't, el auxiliary don't, se va a utilizar solamente with the subjects I, you, they, and we, y el verbo de igual manera is without the S, sin la S. Okay? Now, let's just focus on the other subjects of the group number two. In the subjects of the group number two, which are he, she, and it, instead, uh, the way of saying no, para decir que no, es el mismo que utilizamos con has. Entonces, ¿cuál era? ¿Cuál era? He was the one of doesn't. 
2000. So one more time, if we want to say no, if we want to say no, we say doesn't. Like this. Okay, doesn't. And then after that, we have to add the verb. And again, the verb over here is without the S. Es de igual manera sin la S. Okay, so for those ones who don't remember, in affirmative form, for example, we can just say Valeria eats, um, I don't know, three apples every day. Valeria eats three apples every day. Over here, we're using the S because it's affirmative. Remember, in affirmative, we use the verb with the S. And now, in negative form, if we would like to say that, remember, we don't say don't. We have to be using doesn't. Remember, with he, she, and it, we only use doesn't. So we say, Valeria doesn't or does not eat. Remember, is without the S, sin la S. Doesn't eat three apples every day. And that's the answer. As simple as that. Okay? So, that's the explanation. Okay? So, one more time. In simple words, in palabras simples, in affirmative form, simple present, group number one and group number two. In affirmative form, we use the verb in base form or the normal one. In affirmative form, he, she, and it, we use the verb with an S or ES. And in negative form, which is the topic that we saw today, we use don't with the subjects from the group number one plus the verb. And over here, with the group number two, we use doesn't. And then again, the verb is in base form. It means without the S. Over here, without the S. Sin S. Ninguno de los dos lleva ese negativo. Okay? Now, the, the, the verbs that we're going to be learning today are going to be the ones of right. That's going to be the first one. The opposite of right, which is read. Really simple. Then we have another one, which is wash. Another one that is go, study, that is really simple. We have the verb wear, we have the verb leave, and finally we have the verb need. These eight verbs that we are going to be adding, estos ocho verbos que vamos a agregar a nuestro vocabulario de verbos, los vamos a utilizar en esta actividad. Okay, so for those ones who don't know the meaning, write in Spanish means escribir, read means leer. Wash significa lavar, go significa ir, study, estudiar, obviamente, It sounds really similar to Spanish, wear significa utilizar o traer puesto, pero en este caso es por lo regular ropa o accesorios, ok? The other one, live, significa vivir, ok? And finally, the last one of need means necesitar. Obviously, the verbs that we have over here, obviamente los verbos que acabamos de aprender, están en forma normal. Entonces, if we would like to use them in affirmative form with the groups, with the subjects from the group number two, which are he, she, and it, we don't say write. We will say writes, diríamos writes. Acá sería reads. Acá sería washes, goes, studies, wears, trae puesto, utiliza, lives, vive, and it will be needs. Okay? Now, in this case, the first activity that we have to be doing, la primera actividad que vamos a hacer, pretty much, I will have to write a sentence. Yo voy a escribir una oración in affirmative form, and you will have to complete it, and then you will have to complete it into the negative form. So, over here, you will have to put the same sentence that I have wrote, just written in affirmative form, in negative form. For example, we can just say, um, Natalia lives, Natalia vive, en este caso lo estoy haciendo con ese, because it's affirmative, and Natalia she lives in Mexico City. Now, on the activity number one, you will have to write pretty much the same sentence, but in the negative form, according to this explanation. So in this case, will be Natalia Para decir que no, acuérdense que decimos don't or doesn't. En este caso, Natalia she. Entonces, will be Natalia doesn't 
en the main verb y el, mismo, el verbo principal we leave it in the same form la dejamos en la forma base o se hace sin la s Natalia doesn't live in Mexico City and that's our answer Natalia doesn't live in Mexico City o se hace que Natalia no vive en la ciudad de México ok that's pretty much the activity number one prácticamente es la actividad número uno van a poner la Uh, la misma oración pero en forma negativa ok now on the activity number 2 en la actividad número 2 is gonna be the opposite va a ser prácticamente lo opuesto o sea se va a estar mezclado so in the negative form or the activity number 2 perdón la actividad number 2 you will have affirmative form or negative form of the uh, Of those sentences and you will have to write them on the opposite way Entonces por ejemplo en la actividad 2 como les decía van a tener o afirmativo o negativo Y van a tener que completar lo opuesto con esa información dada Entonces for example if I have, if I, have I don't know Octavio and Leo Leo line And in parentheses you will have this En parentheses van a tener not Y el verbo uno de los nuevos Go to school on Sundays. First of all, you will have to complete. El primero lo van a tener que completar con esta información. ¿Cómo podemos decir que Octavio y Leo no van? Para decir que no, tenemos dos opciones. Uno es don't and the other one is doesn't. Como en este caso, Octavio y Leo are they. El, verbo, el auxiliar correcto will be don't. Entonces, over here will be Octavio y Leo don't go. To school on Sundays Octavio y Leo no van a la escuela los domingos Y esa misma oración La voy a tener que poner en la manera opuesta Entonces voy a tener que decirla In the affirmative form And in this case, en este caso ya saben cómo hacerlo Because we saw the last class, la vimos la clase pasada Entonces sería Octavio y Leo Just go Así, Octavio y Leo go To school On Sundays Y esa es la actividad Number two, o la parte número dos de la actividad ¿Sale? Ok, well that's pretty much for everything for today I'll see you guys next class Nos vemos en la próxima clase Bye